Hi, I'm Sophie Dahl, and today I'm going to read to you from my new book, Madame Badubada and the Old Bones, which is illustrated by Lauren O'Hara and published by Walker Books. Part one, the ancient villain. My name is Mabel and I'm an adventurer. I live at the Mermaid Hotel, a place that's full to the brim with secrets. My mum and dad are the managers. They look after the guests. My job is to keep an eye on them. You never know who could be staying. Good grief, we've had all sorts. A sailor with a trombone and pet ferret called Franco. An opera singing dame whose arias shook the ceilings. A ballroom dancer with amber eyes and an identical twin. A three-toed pygmy sloth, awfully fond of jam and gin. And an ancient villain with trunks of gold, accompanied by dogs, cats, and the most suspicious looking tortoise I'd ever seen. The ancient villain is our longest, oldest, best ever guest. She's now officially a resident. She has eyes that smile and toffee apple hair. Her real name is Irina, but I call her Madame Badubada. It rhymes with Ulala. Madame Badubada likes to eat sweets and build sandcastles. Many years ago, she was a ballet dancer in America after she sailed across the sea away from a war to get there. She has a teapot that wears a jumper. She can do a sort of creaky cartwheel. Sometimes she is very rude to other grown-ups, but she's never rude to me. Madame Badubada has pirouetted through pyramids, skated across rivers, sailed with pirates, swum with mermaids, and she may have once borrowed Cleopatra's headdress. These are the things I have done in my life so far. Steered a pirate ship away from perilous rocks during a lashing storm and learned my nine times table. Before we were friends, I think Madame Badubada used to feel quite lonely. This made her cantankerous, which has grown up for very grumpy. Now she is no longer growly, she mostly says thank you, and she sings when she does the crossword. Once in a while, she stares out of the window to the waves beyond and she sighs. When she does that, I pat her hand and say, Life is sometimes sad. She replies, Yes, my darling Mabel, it truly can be. But sometimes it can be an absolute glory. And this we must remember, the bothness of life, the sadness and the glory. Now, shall we dance? And away we fly. <laughs>